Freedom Party are making increasingly threatening noises about fighting for their rights in the new South Africa. All groups attending want a degree of self-determination which the ANC is not prepared to concede. All fear that the president has compromised once too often with the ANC over terms for an election and a new constitution. There are now reports that right-wing extremists have begun stockpiling weapons and training a resistance army in the mountains of northern Transvaal. At a rally of the neo-Nazi movement, the AWB, the Conservative Party leader warned at the weekend that war is coming closer to South Africa. The president, who attended his son Wilhelm's wedding on the same day, will comment on this afternoon's meeting at a National Party rally tonight. Already known is that he insisted that nothing would be allowed to delay the timetable for elections on April the 27th. Mr. de Klerk is also under pressure to justify a nighttime raid by South African forces on a house in the Transkei homeland, in which five youths died, two of them allegedly as young as 12, in what was described by the government as an attack on a base operated by APLA, the military wing of the Pan-Africanist Congress. Opposition groups say the president should sack the defence minister, Kubi Kotsia. We are calling upon him to prove his bona fides by dismissing the Minister of Defence and all those people who misled him to approve of that attack. The Cape National Party, I'm sure, is expecting the state president to take a very tough line on terrorists, and particularly political terrorism. The president then will be defiant tonight, but he's unlikely to overcome fears that he's losing control over the cabinet and rogue elements of the security forces. John Harrison, BBC News, Johannesburg. However, expected him to raise serious doubts about the timetable for elections on April the 27th. President de Klerk, who this afternoon met leaders of right-wing whites and homeland leaders, together demanding a degree of regional autonomy in the new South Africa, said if multi-party talks failed to agree terms for elections and a new constitution, there should be a referendum. I believe that there is no better instrument than a referendum under such circumstances. A referendum is democratic and civilized. President de Klerk's words will alarm sections of the ANC, which is adamant that the only worthwhile referendum now is an election in which blacks will vote for the first time. Earlier today, right-wing Afrikaner leaders like General Filhun, Chief Putelezi of the Inkata Freedom Party and other homeland leaders insisted that their demands for regional powers could not be ignored. President de Klerk seems to have gone out of his way tonight to show critics that he is prepared to stand up to the ANC. There are now reports that right-wing extremists are stockpiling arms and training a resistance army in the hills of northern Transvaal in their fight for a separate Afrikaner homeland. At a weekend rally of the neo-Nazi group, the AWB, the Conservative Party leader warned that the alternative to a new government dominated by the ANC looked increasingly like war. John Harrison, BBC News, Johannesburg. The Norway